by far my favorite colorway of these shoes so far. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on these bad boys right here. This is the black and red LeBron 20s. I mean, you can never go wrong with a black and red colorway, ever. First things first, I grabbed these from ID for Shoes. They are an eBay reseller and they get stuff a lot earlier than we do most of the time. So I have not seen these available in the States yet, but I did see them available on their eBay page. So I grabbed a pair ASAP. One of the things to note is that when you grab something from overseas, they are labeled typically as an EP, especially if they're a Nike release. So that means that they're supposed to be built on a wider last, even though these do not feel like that. And then on top of that, they come supposedly equipped with XDR rubber, which is extra durable rubber, but I mean, it just feels like the other stuff. So I don't know if that's actually true as far as it being more durable. All I know is just, that's just what it is. Now, as far as the shoe itself, we have seen the performance review already on this channel. So if you're interested in the performance, make sure to head over to the other video. You can finish this one first. And with all that being said, I mean, look at this outsole. It's just beautiful. It works really well on top of that. There's tons of Easter eggs in here for those of you guys that are LeBron fans. So if you are a fan of LeBron and his career and his personal life, there is tons of stuff that is featured in here that you could check out if you were able to grab a pair and that's the big thing right now is these are kind of taking over as the new resellers favorite shoe which sucks you guys really really need to get a life like go work at target or something no don't do that because then they'll take your action figures too i know <laughs> it just sucks that there's sleaze balls everywhere but what can you do <sighs> Now, as far as the tech specs go, we have something really cool. I mean, this is awesome. I forgot about that. I didn't. It was the first thing I looked for in the box. And uh, I just love that it's there. It's got everything that you need to know about the shoe, which is fantastic, especially because stuff like that should come with every shoe, at least performance shoes. Anyways, the midsole itself is Kushlon. Kushlon is awesome if you want something that is nice and plush but still durable Kushlon's the way to go in the rear we have a very large volume zoom air unit and it is mad comfortable and in the forefoot we have a zoom turbo unit so we've got zoom air all over the damn place plus Kushlon and they're lows they're pretty ah, ah. I also forgot to mention the carbon fiber plate. That is cool. I asked in the last video, what was the last LeBron to use carbon fiber as a shank plate? Most of the answers were wrong, but I think it was LeBron 9, because the 10 didn't have it. That was the full air unit. 11 doesn't have it. 12s didn't have it. The 13s don't have it. The 14s were sh 15s definitely didn't have it either did the 16s or 17 or 18 so yeah it was the nine there you go the last shoe though within the lebron line to feature carbon fiber period i believe and this is where i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure it was the lebron 10 elite almost positive. Now the materials are basically just woven knit or textile. On this particular colorway, you can't see much of anything because it's all black. They feel like slippers. Like they look like slippers. They feel like slippers. This is an awesome shoe. I'm surprised that they are as nice as they are given that the whole shoe is knit. There's not a lot of TPU or plastic within the upper as well. Usually they do that when it's a full textile build just to keep things strong. But with this particular one, all of these threads are really strong as is. It does look like there might be some TPU threading in there because there's like a weird kind of sheen to it, but not like the Kobe 9 Elite fly net type of stuff where it was literally like plastic within there or the Kobe 11s, again, kind of like plastic threading. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels, they feel like slippers. I just, I don't know how else to explain it other than that. It just, they look and they feel amazing. One of my favorite visual features on the shoe is the double swoosh. I just really like how this looks, especially this one where it comes off of the shoe like that. No durability issues with the shoe so far. So for those of you guys wondering, is this thing gonna rip off? I doubt it. If it was on the inside, maybe. That's where like your feet will kind of rub together and things like that while you're playing. Typically not along the outside. So. And then the insole is where I believe they're starting to tell a story on this particular one. So this is the insole. It's an ortholite. This one feels good. It's nice and thick. It's dense. It's not that cheap light blue stuff. So if you're going to go with ortholite, this is a good one to go with. But all of this is South Beach, Miami heat colors. So if you like the South Beach theme, this is not quite, you know, the original South Beach or anything thing but I mean clearly it's there and then one random feature just in case you guys were interested is the laces are reflective which some of you guys might think it's cool some of you guys might not care oh look at that the swoosh is reflective too 
pretty thick. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, they do fit true to size. Whatever you typically wear, that's exactly what I would recommend ordering. Wide footers, I would say to go true to size, depending on how wide your foot is. If it's extremely wide, obviously you're gonna wanna go up half a size, but this material does break in. So I would go true to size and just let the materials kind of like do their thing and mold to your foot. A couple of quick things to note. One, the Sense Apparel shop is open permanently. So if you were interested in any of the apparel that we have, it's available now, link is in the description. On top of that, you can go over to our brand new channel, which is Wear Testers in Espanol. So if you were interested in supporting that, you're a Spanish speaker and you wanted something that was a little bit more easy to, uh, I guess, listen to instead of me, because you know I don't speak Spanish. And you can head over there and check everything out. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten on that channel so far. It's been honestly incredible. So I'm hoping that we're able to do something very similar with more countries, because I think that doing something like that would just be fun and awesome. Uh, really bring the Wear Testers name a little bit more global and all. All that stuff so thank you guys so much for supporting that channel again if you were interested in uh, these reviews in Spanish make sure to check out the other link in the description box it'll head you over to the other channel where you can subscribe and check out what we've got going on over there you don't really have that like new shoe smell but I can fix that because one of the things that I just created with the help of Soul Science and Antidote Fresh is our Fresh Sense scent, where we tried our best to capture the dead stock sneaker smell. So what we've got in here is glue and leather. Glue is in this shoe, but no leather. There's a little bit of leather, but not enough to like make it smell like leather. And I think that that's what these guys are missing. So if you were interested in checking something like this out, it comes with a really cool instruction card, as well as a sticker that kind of plays with the whole Fresh Sense theme, at least as far as the way that the visuals are. Then check out the link in our description box. Yes, I know, another one. But these are available right now. I actually have a box back here of 23 additional bottles and I'm going to start giving away some of these, not only in our Wear Testers Discord community, but right here in the channel. <laughs> I'm gonna be giving them away to random people. The only thing is that you gotta be a subscriber and you've gotta leave a super thanks comment. That's gonna be the easiest way for me to filter through everything because I could literally just go to a new tab and click super thanks only and that's all it will show me. And then from there, I will randomly select people and just start being like, yo, you want a free bottle? Here we go. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. If you were interested in these, again, I grabbed my pair from ID for Shoes. If you wanted to be a little bit more patient, just wait for the release date, whenever that is, and uh, hopefully the bots don't get them. Although Nike just announced that they're cracking down on bots again. I don't know how they're going to do that, but we'll see. I do have a question about that whole thing. I don't know if you've seen it, but like they said that they're going to flag your account if they think that you're a reseller. And so like, what if they flag somebody like... What if you are just like an avid Nike shopper? That's what I mean. Like, what if they flag the wrong people? You know what I mean? Like, how are you going to appeal that? Like, or how do they prove? And I'm not trying to be on like a reseller side here. I'm just saying like, how are you going to prove that they're resellers? And does that mean that I can't buy this and then like in six months be like eh I don't want these anymore you know what I mean like because that's technically reselling look I don't know how all this is gonna work resellers really find kind of like muck things up to me personally like they're taking things like this and they're holding product hostage for people that actually want the stuff which I think is up but this I don't know if this is the right what I just don't know I just I'm there I feel like this brings more questions than it does answers so I'll be curious to know how things work feel free to discuss that in the comments as well I, I would love to pick your guys's brain because obviously I'm just one guy here and I can't talk to myself even though I mean I kind of do it's embarrassing Hello. I mean, you're there, but there's two <laughs> cameras. I'm literally talking to nobody. But again, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. If you were interested in anything that you saw in the video, whether it be the apparel, the scent, the shoes, all that kind of stuff, links are always in the description. Thank you so much for everything. And until next time, guys, have a good one.